everyone. I am Rebecca Stavik. I am a librarian, I'm a civic hacker, and I'm leading a community tech movement in Omaha, Nebraska as the executive director of Do Space. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what I'm passionate about. And when I think what I'm passionate about, I think about this piece of art. It is so powerful, right? I mean, if you want to achieve greatness, stop asking for permission. I think about this a lot. Um, but when I'm looking at this, I really want you to take a look at this woman's face, right? It is a look of defiance. It's a look of determination. It's kind of like saying, go ahead and try and stop me, you know? It's great. I get this look a lot, so. Um, so I'm, I'm here to chat with you a little bit about the hacker mindset. The woman in the art, I think she really kind of has, has something going there. You know, hackers, they view barriers as challenges to overcome or, you know, to either smash through or to get around. And I think this is interesting. I think there's a lot that we can learn from hackers in terms of getting to our goals by getting, getting around the barriers. I'm a hacker. Um, I started a civic hacking organization in Nebraska. And, um, but for the most part, I'm, I'm really a hacker because there's nothing that gets me fired up like challenging the established way of doing things. But you're a hacker too, okay? In Ignite Talk, right, this is a hack on the kind of traditional presentation. Um, uh, an unconference, again, it's a, it's a hack on your traditional, like long, boring conference. Um, since we're just a bunch of hackers here, I want to share with you my favorite quote from my girl Clara. It irritates me to be told how have things always been done. I defy the tyranny of the precedent. I go for anything new that might improve the past. And I know you're thinking like, oh my God, don't talk to me about innovation. I hear that all day long. What does that even mean? Like, what, is, what does innovation mean? I don't know. But I know it's important. And um, we've got to constantly strive for it. And uh, so my opinion is big organizations, it's tough. It is really tough to innovate. Um, rapid change is really hard because when you have more people, you've got to have more rules or it's just going to get chaotic, right? That doesn't mean, though, that you couldn't possibly form small groups um, and get some innovation, innovative rapid change going on. So it's a little bit easier when you're a small group of people, which is, you know, right here. I, I consider this pretty kind of grassroots in a way. So rapid change is hard. It's super uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes a lot of my colleagues uncomfortable. But here's the thing, we work in information organizations during the information age. So kind of, what did you think you were going to get? Um, so I want to get really uncomfortable with you right now and say that I feel like there aren't enough people having uncom uncomfortable conversations in libraries. I want to see a lot more of that. And I think it's going to push us forward. <laughs> We've got some grumpy cats. I mean, we have some grumpy cats in our profession. And these are the people who are like totally chill with the status quo, who are just like whatever. Maybe there are some issues, but we'll pass those down onto those pesky millennials and see what they have to do with it. So when I worked in a public library, I had this poster up in um, my little cubicle, and I actually had some coworkers complain to my managers about this because it made them so uncomfortable. And that really stuck with me. Uh, because it's nonsense, like that's so crazy. Libraries and innovation go hand in hand. I mean, libraries have always been about technology, always been about changing ways and, and the new thing. If we have the hacker mindset, if we take a look at all those things that are in our way and we try to either smash through them or go around them, it's fine. I say bring it. Bring it. That's right. Um, and so I'm here to challenge you to defy the tyranny of the precedent. I'm here to ask you, take a look at those things in your job that are stopping you from greatness, and don't ask permission to smash those barriers. Remember, remember this woman, I want to see this look on your face. And also remember that ignite means to set shit on fire. So I'm hopefully setting you guys on fire a little bit. <laughs> oh, also, I run Do Space, which is a community tech space in Omaha. We just opened. There's nothing like this in the country. I am not going to tell you a lot about it because I'm so confident you're going to go onto our website and check it out. 
but we're all about smashing barriers in terms of access to uh, tech and education. Thank you. Thank you.